In this video, we're going to see some examples using logarithmic graphs. There is no a, uh, particular function for logarithmic graphs. You're just going to have to modify the data, and that's what we're going to do by looking at these examples in here. Actually, this is the example I want to... Um, well, before we get to that, I, I wanted to show you how to use matrices if you want to plot data. I have defined these two functions, and then I'm going to uh, put together here a uh, vector values of x, 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 uh, um, column range minus 2 times p, control g, comma 2 times p, control g, space bar, space bar, comma minus 2 times p, control, control g, sorry, control g, let me try that again, 2, 2, times P control G plus P control G over 10. Okay. If I do a list in here, XX equal, it gives me all these results. It needs to go down a little bit further to show all the results available. Actually, jump to the next page. Anyway, I, I just want to show you those results. I'm going to delete it. And then I'm going to pr produce my values of the ordinates FF, column F of X, X. Do a select the right hand side by doing, like, for example, a single a space bar and then clicking on this icon that says vectorize function. And for g, g, which is the data for the second function, I'm going to say g of x, x. And then the selection of the right-hand side, you can do it with the mouse. Okay, so we have vectors of the two functions for f and g based on these vectors of values of x of x. We're going to produce a matrix of data by using the function augment where we put xx as the um, abscissas and ff as the ordinates. And here we go for augment xx gg. Now here we're going to click, go insert, plot, xy plot. And here we're going to use the system. You can do th use this one, or you could type in this SIS parenthesis, and it gives you the system anyway. And then we're going to put the matrices MXF and MXG. We're going to modify a little bit the uh, the y-axis only, uh, going from minus 2 to 2. We're going to keep the labels and everything else as, as it is. Um, the only thing I want you to um, do here is um, the traces, change it to points. And so what we do is, is select a type of, uh, for example, circles for this one. And this is the first one. We're going to call that my f of x. And click on the second one. Let's go for this and type. Uh, uh, let's say diamonds and mm -hmm. give it a name as G of X I'm going to make it bigger and then insert a, a, a legend a legend we're going to go for legend visible true and they're showing the, the results. Okay, so that's just a, a, a situation where you present matrices. Since the data is discrete, in this case, we could eliminate the, the straight lines in the traces. And the easiest way to do it is by going to the line style and changing the line color to the top of the menu here to transparent. Oops, sorry. Transparent. That eliminates the line for that one, and let's eliminate it for the second one. And let's say the line color gets changed to transparent. 
And so that's more like what we want to do. We can change the color of that and everything else if we need to. Now the logarithmic graphic, basically what you have to do is produce some vectors of the logarithms of x and y, and then we're going to combine them. For example, if this is my data, and, and let's say that x represents the times in hours where the concentration of some chemical is developing. And so what we want to do is obtain the logarithmic data. I'm going to call it Lx as the natural log of x. Okay, what I did wrong here, I'm going to do control Z. What I didn't wrong here is not selecting the graphic and I'm sorry, the, the function and using the vectorization. With the vectorization, now I get my data. I'm going to pull it over here. And then I'm going to call one LY, LN of Y. Press the space bar, select that, make the equal sign, and drag that data up here to show it. So I got my data. And basically, the, the natural uh, the natural plot is simply the plot of x versus y. So I'm going to do it quickly here using insert plot x, y. And in here, I'm going to put augment x, y. Now, my data I need to modify because the x goes from 1 to 491. So I'm going to change the x axis to go from a minimum of 0 to a maximum of 500 with one decimal and the six being 100 units. And then in the vertical, and Y we go from 0 to 30. Sorry, I need mean to click in the middle for the Y axis. One maximum is 30. Minimum is zero. And because we're dealing with discrete data, I'm going to go to the um, traces list. So we'll go to the, to the trace. There's only one trace to deal with. Go to line style, change the color to transparent. This is going to make the graphic disappear. And then we go to symbol style, change the type to, let's say, crosses. And those crosses, we're going to change the color to Indian red or brown. And then uh, I also need to modify the vertical scale to go from 0 to 30, but the thickness instead of 0.5, we're going to put something like 10. So that's my natural graph in which both scales are in a, a XY. Now, the semi-logarithmic semi graph. I'm going to copy this, select Control C, Control V, and let's say that we want to make the X logarithmic, so I put LX. Oops, sorry. But that, of course, changes my values of X, because now we're going to go only from 0 to 6. I'm going to put it 0 to 10. Sorry, click in the middle, x-axis. Instead of 500, we'll go for 10. And the thickness, the thick, sorry, is going to be 2. And so that's, that's my semi-logarithmic graph. The only thing that I have to make sure is to indicate in my um, labels that the x now is log of x. Now, we were saying that this refers to a certain time. And so we're going to put a log of time and, and why we have concentration. Okay. Now, if I do the logarithmic for y, my data goes from 0 to 4, only not from 0 to 30. So we're going to copy this and control V and change the, this to LY. And in the vertical, the Y, we're going to go from 0 to 10. 
in increments of one. And actually, I could do in increments of two to make it look a little bit wider. Um, actually, we, we apparently we generally need to go to four here, not to ten. So I'm going to change that to four, and we're going to go increments of one. So we have the logarithmic in which x is the logarithmic. And so my original data, actually, I should change my labels. X is time, in hours, and Y is a concentration in parts of millions. And so here I'm going to change my labels, uh, X to uh, time, and hours. And why is the logarithmic of concentration? And so I got to, to semi logarithmic graphic. If I'm going to get the double logarithmic, I simply need to um, copy my graph here and change. The, the data that I am augmenting in here. And of course, I need to change my scales to be like 0 to 10 in x, 0 to 4 in y. And so, sorry, I'm going to double click in the middle. x axis, 0 to 10 in x, in uh, increments of 2, and the vertical direction. And y, we have. 0 to 4 in increments of 1. And we get our semi logarithmic. There's the data right there. And so that's the way to handle logarithmic data using the XY plot. And so we also presented these examples of using matrices. And, and that, that was the idea behind this particular video to show you some examples of actually, it should be used uh, saying using the um, uh, matrix data and logarithmic graph. And with that, we finish this particular video.